and welcome again to Crime and Justice. We have a police update. We're going to listen to now. Chief Constable Serena Kennedy from Merseyside Police. It is with great sadness today I am here to advise that two children have died as a result of the injuries sustained in this morning's knife attack. Nine other children have been injured and six of them are in a critical condition. All those injured have suffered stab wounds sustained during the attack and two adults are also in a critical condition after being injured during the incident. A 17-year-old male from Banks in Lancashire, who is originally from Cardiff, has been arrested on suspicion of murder and attempted murder. And is being taken to a police station where he will be interviewed by detectives. My officers were called to reports of a stabbing at 11.47 this morning and at a dress in Southport. When they arrived, they were shocked to find that multiple people many of whom were children, had been subjected to a ferocious attack and had suffered serious injuries. It is understood that the children were attending a Taylor Swift event at a dance school when the offender, armed with a knife, walked into the premises and started to attack inside the children. We believe that the adults who were injured were bravely trying to protect the children who were being attacked. As a mum and a nana, I can't begin to imagine the pain and suffering that the families of the victims are going through at this moment in time. And I wish to send my heartfelt condolences to them. Our specialist family liaison officers are providing support to the families of the deceased children and the children who were injured at this moment in time. And we'll be working with our partners, including Sefton Council, to provide that wider trauma support to those who've been affected by this incident. The investigation is in its early stages and the motivation for the incident remains unclear. However, Counterterrorism Police Northwest have offered their support to Merseyside Police as the full circumstances of what has happened are being established. At this moment in time, the investigation is not being treated as terrorist related. I would appeal to anyone who's witnessed anything or who has information that could help us, the investigation, to contact us on Crime Stoppers 0800 treble 5 treble 1. And anyone who's been affected by this incident can contact Victim Care Merseyside Service for help and support. Our hub of locally trained staff are here to provide free and emotional support and practical tailored advice to you. You can contact the Victim Care Hub Merseyside on 0808 175 3080. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dave Kitchen, and on behalf of the Northwest Family Service, we'd like to offer our sincere condolences to those families who tragically lost loved ones today and to the wider community. Our thoughts are with you. I can confirm that we were called to the Hart Street area in Southport just before lunchtime today to an incident of reported multiple stabbings. We declared this as a major incident due to the number of casualties and the types of the injuries sustained. A substantial number of ambulances and specialised resources were dispatched to the scene, including our hazardous area response team, air ambulances and merit doctors. Tragically, we can confirm that two lives have sadly been cut short. We treated 11 casualties on scene who were conveyed by emergency ambulance and Helimed to Alder Hay Hospital, Royal Manchester Children's Hospital, along with Aintree University, Southport Formby and Ormskirk General Hospitals. I'd like to thank our staff who worked incredibly hard caring for the victims in what was a devastating scene. We'd also like to thank our Blue Light and emergency colleagues from the NHS, the wider NHS, for all their support during this incident. And again, we'd like to express our deepest sympathies to the loved ones of those affected. No doubt this incident will have a lasting impact on the whole community 
and our thoughts are very much with them at this difficult time. O'Gargan, Chief Fire Officer for Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service. I'm a colleague, so I would like to pass on my thoughts and those of my service to the family, friends and loved ones of everyone affected by this horrific incident. This is not something that anyone should have to come to terms with. In relation to the incident itself, my firefighters responded following the declaration of a major incident and were on the scene in minutes. With crews from Southport Fire Station and a specialist team from Aintree responding to assist our colleagues from Merseyside Police and Northwest Ambulance Service who were dealing with a traumatic and understandably chaotic scene. The crews who were trauma trained worked alongside their colleagues to provide trauma care, administer first aid and undertake a wide area search for any other persons affected by this incident. My firefighters, many of whom live in this community, will be appalled by this act. But they will be back on the streets of Southport tomorrow to provide reassurance, kindness and support. The crews themselves were stuck down at 4.18pm this afternoon. Well, that was short, but that is what our press releases are. They are very short. I wasn't taking questions or anything. But this isn't a time for questions. This is not the time for the questions. Not yet. Southport itself is only small. It's only small. It's not big. And people know everyone in small communities like that. They know each other. They know everyone. So my heart, my thoughts go to the families involved, the families who've lost children, and just hope we don't lose any more in this incident. Let's hope the teachers can get through this who are on the critical list and the six other children that are on the critical list. Let's hope and pray they can get through this. I do not want to be coming back and doing another update stating another child has died, a teacher has died, because this should not be happening. So I'm going to leave it at that. What I will say is, if you've got young children, give them a hug. Let them know you love them. Just give your kids a hug. <laughs>